All right, everyone, I've got another Age of Fantasy battle report coming. Uh, it's 1,500 points or objectives. And uh, so uh, I'm bringing my dwarfs, and he's bringing uh, his chaos. Um, I wanted to try some models that I haven't played with for the dwarfs, so I went ahead and substituted some of my Mage Knight models just to see uh, see how they play. But uh, I liked how they play, so I'm going to be ordering them and trying to trying to get that squad put together. So um, hopefully I'll be having uh, having those uh, those models in. Uh, so let's go over the list. So for me, uh, I've got my dwarfs. So I've got a dwarven champion. Uh, he's on a bear. I mean, he's just he's he's pretty nasty. Uh, just impact. He's got fear. Uh, Def one. He's also got grudge. So he and his squad are going to hit on um, hit on twos basically. So he's he's pretty nasty. I've got two units of 10 bearded warriors. They've got great weapons. Uh, I've got some iron warriors with a shrapnel bomb, uh, just a good tough unit um, with uh, death three and shield wall. I've got some hammer elites. Uh, these guys are just an absolute blender. Uh, they hit like an absolute truck. Uh, I've got some steam powered suits. Uh, I've went ahead and just changed them into the the hand to hand versions, which I, I like a lot. Uh, I've got some Drake Marksmen. They're they are pretty pricey, but uh, I I think they're worth it. They are pretty nice to eat. And I go ahead and I upgraded them with the the torpedo rifle. Uh, and lastly, I just have an organ gun. So for chaos, he's running a little character heavy. Uh, he's got two Havoc Masters. One, he's got the Dark March upgrade, which is pretty good. He's got a great weapon on him, and he's got Chosen, so he's sitting on twos. Uh, his second Havoc Master uh, is on a horse and uh, has a lance and it's got the the army standard bearer so fear fear is terrific uh so just just two really nasty uh nasty guys uh and he's got a barbarian champion who's just uh got some hand weapons just good on the charge um a lot just a lot of attacks uh and he's he's upgraded him with the sorcerer so he's got that um he's got wizard um, and he's using, uh, as he will see, he uses one spell on this game as well, and it's also extremely nasty. So he's running uh, with it. He's running ten barbarians with flails. Uh, he's got some uh, some chaos warriors. He's uh, he's upgraded them to the chosen warriors. Uh, so a ten man squad. Uh, he has great weapons, and then he's got another five man squad that he's giving great weapons as well. Um, and he's given them two. So that's that's a lot of tanky guys that are that are hitting very hard with AP three and hitting on twos. He's got two units of mutants, which are also just really good. Uh, those mutations are great, especially if he gets rending against me. Uh, the mutations are terrific against my army. Even just the AP1 is good. Uh, so the mutants are there. Uh, he's got some Havoc Knights uh, that he's uh, he's just running your standard lances, just you know, a lot of impact, just your standard cavalry. Um, and he's got a Chimera, uh, which has got a Breath Attack, and it's flying. So uh, just... Uh, Pretty pretty good army with a lot of uh, some 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 light units also with just some heavy hitters as well. So to show my armor, first of all, so I'm using the uh, the Mountain King uh, as my uh, as my dwarf lord on uh, Great Bear, uh, and then I I grabbed some steam golems that I'm using just as um, as my uh, exo suits uh, battle suits. So going forward, I've got my five drakes in the back. Uh, I've got some two units of uh, bearded warriors. One's in blue, and the other is in green, right beside it. And then I've got my um, I've got my iron warriors right below, and there's my organ gun. So the other green is the other set of bearded warriors. Both of them have great weapons. And then I've got my hammers to the right, uh, and that makes a pretty a pretty condensed uh, dwarf army. <laughs> when I saw his army, it was pretty scary. Um, like I said, it's just a lot of models. Uh, but he's so he's got some chaos knights in the back. He's got his two mutant squads uh, to the left and the center. Uh, he's got his barbarian and his wizard. His wizard looks great. So just uh, some really nicely painted models. Uh, it's a great looking army. Uh, his chimera is on the left. He's got his smaller squad of chaos warriors. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a shot of his mutants again. So here's the battlefield. Um, you know, already as you can kind of see the dwarves feel outnumbered. And uh, uh, the other thing is that there are four objectives. You see the two red. Um, one is right in front of the uh, the the mountain king, and then there's one in the direct center. And he also has two on his side. So he's got one 
uh, in blue next to the 10 man chaos warrior squad. And he's also got the other one. It's actually on the far right gate. So the dwarves are already at a disadvantage here in that they, um, you know, they can right now hope for a tie and somehow going to have to try to get through those chaos warriors to get to those objectives. So I'm already seeing a bit of a flaw in my army in that uh, it's pretty slow. <laughs> so uh, turn one. Uh, so I just moved Iron Warriors up. Um, uh, I think uh, I would say I missed a few picks. So just keep that in mind. This game goes really fast. So I'll just I'll just run through the first uh, couple of moves. So I move my Iron Warriors up. Um, he then moves his uh, uh, his Chaos Warriors in the center, and he uses that that Dark March, which I forgot about it. And that Dark March moves up those mutants up six inches. So now they're in charge range of my Iron Warriors. Now, you know, my Iron Warriors are pretty, pretty tough, right? So, you know, they should be okay, right? Um, and then uh, the other thing is my organ gun uh, just started shooting down some of those Chaos Warriors. That's a 10-man squad. So really needed to try to whittle them down. Um, and then I moved up my, uh, my Beardy Warriors, the green ones, up to the center to get the center objective. So just some initial moves here and some initial shots. Uh, so that's just another shot, right? Uh, the leader is using his ability, you know, uh, just a different shot of the same thing that happened. He then brings his uh, Chimera up and breathes on my bearded warriors, does some some damage to them, but they, they're good. And then I go ahead and move up my, my uh, uh, Exo Armor suit, or basically my Steam suits and my leader. He moves up to kind of try to get in range of that Chimera. And yeah, he charges my, um, I don't think I have the pick here, but yeah, he charged my Iron Warriors. And uh, first of all, his uh, his Barbarians had moved up as well and cast that impact uh, on that ability. And so all of a sudden, this is these mutants that are running up with impact one. He then, he had his mutations and he got the, um, he got the rending, which is just, I was hoping he'd get the AP one. So he just walked up there and he just, he hit them. He did five wounds. Now I did save pretty well, but I also flubbed uh, my rolls. I think I only like killed one, I think. So I failed my morale. They were just at five and I rolled a two. And so at 50%, my iron warriors just are, are toast, right? And it just kind of shows you just how brutal this game is that, you know, they took five wounds and then this really expensive, this unit that I thought was going to really stick around is just, is just gone. So that's definitely a rough break for the dwarves just to see their iron warriors just get basically mowed down by these mutants. So that was rough. Uh, my iron drakes move up um, by the organ gun. And I, so I shot my torpedo into his chimera and I did three wounds with the deadly and then I, I continue to shoot into those Chaos Warriors, uh, whittling them down uh, even further. They're actually, actually at half strength right now. So uh, my shooting has really helped me whittle down that really 10-man unit of Chaos Warriors. I, I needed to whittle them down. So, um, And then he moves his cavalry up, and he has his mutants behind him. I move up my second unit of Bearded Warriors. Um, and uh, so this is how it kind of ends at turn one, where the, the dwarves are just <laughs> that I already kind of feel like I'm on the back, but I needed those iron warriors to kind of stick longer and to, to, to keep that left flank going. And he's just, he just got his mutants already in my backfield. So, um, a lot of pressure on the dwarves, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, turn two. So the first thing I do is uh, my hammers uh, just go straight into those mutants and just absolutely murder them. They don't even get a chance to attack back. Those hammers are just absolute nuts. Uh, they they are a bit of a glass cannon, but uh, if if you don't you know untouched, they're just going to walk up to you with twenty attacks hitting on threes AP two just murders those uh, just murders those mutants. Um, uh, he comes up and he, you don't see it, but it's at the bottom. He actually charged my, uh, my Drakes. I don't think he liked that shooting, but the Drakes actually surprisingly stuck pretty well. Um, and that you don't, sorry, I didn't get a chance to get that pick, but it's at the bottom. The Chaos Warrior charged. The Drakes actually um, got one wound on the Chaos Warrior. They actually have a three up save. So those Drakes are kind of paying for themselves. They're pricey, but uh, you know, they're, they're sticking around. 
So I in turn charged his his Chimera with my full squad, and I just you know he already had three wounds on him, and I just I just killed that Chimera. So you know for me I'm thinking you know hey this he's, this is a pretty good squad here you know it's nice defensive you know defensive setup you know I'm going to be good, but um uh you know as we're going to see um, first of all he sends his first Chaos Warrior squad in. And uh, that's that that uh, that smaller that uh, his partial squad that had been whittled down a little bit, so they deal some damage. Um, that hurts. And remember, I'm hitting on sixes because I'm fatigued, uh, so that happened. Um, and then uh, he's he uh, he didn't see this part, but if if you're so I missed a few pictures, but he uh, he sends in his uh, calf and just comes in and just kills all these dwarf warriors on the right. Uh, I don't think they even got a chance to attack back. Those bitter warriors just got mowed down by those um, by those cav unit. Um, so what I do is I come in back. Uh, I come into the backswing. So it's bearded warriors, you know, basically saw their conrads of decades just get murdered. So so they're coming in for some vengeance. Um, they do some pretty good damage, but remember his uh, they, those guys still hit pretty good in hand to hand. So they deal some damage, and also his leader has that battle standard. Um, so they actually defeat those bearded warriors, even though they did some damage. Uh, the bearded warriors lose, but fearless, uh, they fight on. Um, and I, man, I really am going to respect the fearless special role of this game. Those bearded warriors are just, just absolute heroes for just sticking through all this. So turn three, um, turn three, he gets his chaos spawn into my bearded warriors. Uh, they deal some damage, uh, really hurt them. Bearded warriors basically lose again, but you know, they stick with fearless. So uh, really good. The other thing to note here, and that that I missed on some picks, you're going to see here that um, both the uh, uh, during my last turn, uh, the organ gun uh, shot and the the Drakes also got a chance to shoot these two chaos warriors. Wavered them both. He rolled bad on nerve. So these two, you're going to see the yellow and the green blocks. Both of those chaos warrior squads got wavered. So pretty pretty tough deal for him. Um, so he starts out, he hits my bittered warriors, starting to will them down. Um, the barbarians then go into the um into the battle suits. He gets his impact hit again and just absolutely kill my battle suits. Um uh the only thing left is the leader. He did pass his morale check. Um, so that was good. Uh, and then, uh, you know, as you're kind of seeing, that's when the the Drakes and the Organ Gun uh, before that had shot and uh, wavered both of these Chaos Warrior units. So luckily, they they aren't doing anything just yet. <clears throat> but um, so but because uh, so here, you know, those uh, my leader sticks and because he does that leaves him just in range of my hammers. You can kind of see it's an eight inch range there and my hammers come in there and just absolutely just murder of those barbarians just i mean those hammers will just hit like absolute trucks i think i killed everyone i i think there was the mage left so we're catching this during his armor rolls and i think the, the mage basically fled after that so those oh man those hammers just hit uh, so here you're seeing after the hammers that's the, the barbarians fleeing away i guess uh, I guess they're dead slash fleeing here. Uh, sorry for some of the pictures. They're a little blurry. Um, and uh, yeah, here the cavalry charged. The bearded warriors did some pretty heavy damage. They're, they are, I think I think at this point, they're really taking some heavy damage, but they do pass their morale check. So they're down to three, but they pass their morale check. And um, at this point, uh, you know, fearless, th those bearded warriors are just by themselves holding the objective on their own. So at this point, the leader charges the calf with his great bear and his impact hits, and he basically kills the calf and routes the calf as well. So that was pretty good. Um, a pretty vicious game. So turn four, um, uh, turn four, uh, the K, basically the, the drakes and the organ gun, they, they shoot effectively the wavering chaos warriors and kill and take them out. Um, the turn four is a bit anticlimactic in that I just don't have anything fast enough to get to the objective. Um, so, so yeah, we've got some cleanup duty here, more of a, more of a, a, a moral victory for the dwarfs just to kill a few more chaos. Um, 
the the spawn charged the bearded warriors they trade wounds but the bearded warriors kill them so this is just i mean this is the mvp of the game just by themselves uh, fearless i have a new respect for fearless because it's such a great skill to just basically force your opponent and these bearded warriors are hitting back they really held that right flank on their own after they saw the other squad die so uh really like the bearded warriors and really like the fearless on them um so this is just some last picks again um i uh this is uh this is my my uh, uh my lord on great beast he isn't able to get to the objective so it's pretty much a tie uh, and that's kind of how the game wins so i'll just show you a few more picks uh this guy fell over accidentally uh, but it's just a really fast paced game so you know like i'm trying to play the game and take pictures so some of my models happen to fall over um but there is just one uh, one chaos lord left and he is staring at a lot of angry dwarves so it is a moral victory to the dwarves but it is an actual tie <laughs> um, so great game um i'm definitely i think uh, we talked and we're going to try to go up to 2000 points next time i'm really looking forward to that um 1500 points is is great and i think 2000 is going to run just as smooth just you know throwing in a few more goodies in there so talk about some learning points so um so one thing i would say that i really learned is you know chaff is just very important in this game you know i think both of us brought um both of us brought some pretty tanky units but uh, like you know for instance he has his chaos warriors and i have my iron warriors they're pretty tanky but, um, you know, they're just having that def three, you know, as it says on that fourth point, just has its limits. You really do need some chaff there to kind of protect them, especially from shooting. I mean, me basically whittling down that 10 man chaos warrior squad was was huge. Uh, another thing, uh, if even for me, you know, I, I, I brought a second unit of bearded warriors. I wish I would have just brought one and um, I wish I would have actually just had two 10-man warrior squads um I, I like i imagine those mutants hitting a, a generic warrior squad and those calf hitting a generic warrior squad and I, I still have you know some pretty powerful units left so I, I definitely am going to be looking at bringing two maybe even three four just warrior squads um i think that the regular dwarf warrior squads are, are just great um, I go back and forth about phalanx, you know, like my, my warrior squats run around, run around 85 points and carrying them phalanx just feels really pricey. It's basically like a 40% bump, but it's, it's also really good. So I, I go back and forth about whether phalanx is worth it because it's, you know, I think the dangerous train is one thing, but the ability to go into cab and to stop all the impact stuff from happening is just so good. And I, I think that's what makes Phalanx so balanced is that it's 30 points. Like it's a really great thing to add to your warriors, but it's also it's also you pay for it. So I like that that Phalanx is very balanced. Like it really is a tough choice to bring it or not. I, I think in the next game, I'm actually not going to bring it and just choose to bring it, bring a few more bodies. Um, and um, the other thing I learned is just, man, that six point movability, it's pricey. But um, I, I've seen it in other armies who have that, that ability to pick a unit and have them move six inches during their activation. So good. And... Um, it's pricey, but I, I think I may start bringing that more in some of my other armies that I play, either this or Grimdark. Um, and the other thing I, I really, you know, learned is that I got a, a slow army like dwarves. You really do need some speed for objectives. Like my army was just very slow, and I, you know, I, while I won, you know, I killed more models. I, I didn't win. Let's be very clear. Um, I just didn't have the speed to get there. So I, I think that um, I do need to incorporate some speed uh, into my armies uh, so that I can I can uh, play the objectives game better. So um, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you learned something and uh, I'll see you guys next time.